I wish I could play on offense. I should be playing on offense. We're gonna get past that now. going zone man it's your boy q aka uncle Quan. welcome back to the panthers experience with another film breakdown today we are here to break down who i believe is going to be the secret weapon moving into the 2024 nfl season and that is none other than my guy emir smith marset emir smith marset was brought in last season via trade with the kansas city chiefs and swap for a conditional seventh round pick for 2025 and not only that but he was also brought in for a one-year extension worth 1.4 million dollars so he could get a chance to prove himself once again i think emir smith marset was a very important piece to bring back to this offense especially considering that bryce young needs guys to develop with obviously last year was bryce young's rookie season and that was the first year we brought in emir smith marset so you already got a year under the belt so bring him in for another year let's see how this chemistry develops and let's see how dave canales can use him in this offense as we all know emir smith marset was criminally underutilized in this offense last year with Frank Wright. He wasn't really used until Frank Wright was pretty much fired towards the end of the stretch of the season and uh, Chris Tabor actually utilized Emir Smith Marset more in the offense, which is something that he spoke on earlier in the season. I just feel like I've always been this type of player and uh, I'm finally getting to show what always has been. You get what I'm saying? ISM is very good with special teams. One of his more notable moments in the season was that kickoff return against Chicago on a Thursday night, week 10. This guy took it all the way to the crib, man. Got the Panthers fans on their feet that game. So obviously he's showing you his explosive ability to make plays. And not only that, ISM can definitely be utilized as a gadget player moving into this offense. When talking about Dave Canales' offense, we broke it down twice on this channel already. If you haven't already seen that, y'all can check that out, by the way. When speaking on Dave Canales' offense, we know that he liked to use a lot of motion. Just last season, towards the stretch of the season, ISN was utilized a lot more in the offense. He was used in a lot more packages in our offense. And we saw him using a lot of different motions and stuff like that. So with Dave Canales, obviously he likes to use a lot of motion. So ISM could be an easy plug-in play for Dave Canales. I'm interested to see how he's going to use ISM when it comes to using him as a gadget player and maybe even expanding his route tree as well. ISM was very explosive in Iowa when he was playing his college days, man. And now he was also explosive in a preseason with the Kansas City Chiefs just last season before we acquired him via trade. I definitely think he has that big play ability on offense, not just special teams. And I'm very interested to see how Dave Canales is going to implement him into this offense. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into the film breakdown. Let's talk about what I think ISM does very well with his athleticism and how he does with the ball in his hands. And we're going to talk about what I think we should do moving forward into this Dave Canales system. So make sure you guys hit that like button for your boy. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, man. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss another video on the channel. Let's go ahead and get into it, baby. Right, take a look at the top of your screen where ISM is lined up at wide out. You got Bryce Young in a pistol. Prior to this footage, um, I should have screen recorded it a little bit sooner, but Tommy Trimble came in motion from over here, right? So let's take a look at this play. We're going to let it run, and we're going to talk about it per usual. All right, let's take a look at it. Bryce Young fakes to his left, immediately comes back to that screen. ISM gets the ball, lower that shoulder, gets the first down. Let's go ahead and slow this thing down real quick. All right, fam, again, we are keying in on ISM. Let's take a look at his technique right here with this screen. Let's take a look at what he did with the ball in his hands. So take a look at it. ISM selling the fake real quick. Looks like he's about to run a full vertical. Slams on the brake. All right, so let's take a look at it closely. Take a look at how he slams on these brakes after pretty much selling the vertical route. So take a look at it. Look how low he gets. Hold on. Boom. Look at his knees. Look at his base. He's getting low, changing his directions. Look at this corner right here. The corner is already backing up because of that vertical threat that ISM has. ISM immediately pulls that back for the screen. You got two guys out in front, Mingo. You got Corbett out in front. Oh, I'm sorry, that's Trimble, excuse me. 
So if Bryce Young gets that ball out. First of all, this fake right here with Bryce Young. Looks like he's faking left. Immediately comes back, gets rid of it, boom. So take a look at ISM. Got those lead blocks. Taking it upfield. And right here, the sticks are right here, y'all. The sticks are right here. Probably like a yard in front of him. With that type of awareness, you know you got to lower your shoulder and stretch that ball so that you can move the chain. So what does he do right here? He lowers his shoulder. And he continues to push that pile. And he got the first down easily, man. Again, very simple play right here. This is just a wide receiver screen, him following his blocks. But just a technique by ISM right here to sell that vertical and then immediately slam on the brakes, come back for the screen. And not only that, but he lowered his shoulder to push the pile to get the first down and move the chain. So let's go ahead and move on to the next play by ISM. All right, guys, take a look at the top of your screen where ISM is lined up at wide out with this little bunch formation right here. We're going to take a look at this play. We're going to let it run. ISM is going to be pulled in motion to the right side. This is a simple handoff, just letting your athlete create space and create opportunities with the ball in his hands. Once again, showing you that he has that explosive ability to turn it up the field, get the first down. Not only that, but he also has change of direction. So we're going to take it back. We're going to slow it down. And we're also going to look at it from another angle. So you got a simple handoff, great blocking on the edge by Moten to at least throw him off long enough just for him to get to the outside. ISM cuts that corner. Shifting his direction. Turning Jesse Bates completely around. Take look at Jesse Bates. Jesse Bates is over pursuing. Using his leverage against him. Got him on skates. Makes him miss his angle. Blows his shoulder. Gets first down and more. So we're going to take a look at it from another angle. Alright, we're going to take a look at it one more time. We're going to let it run all the way through. Again, just give your athletes opportunities in space. ISM is the perfect example of that. This guy reminds me uh, a lot of us breaking down that LaVisca Chenault film from last year. I'm not saying ISM is anywhere near the same level of talent as LaVisca Chenault. They both have very different play styles, obviously, but they both are similar in areas where you can utilize them as gadget players. You can hand them the ball in the backfield. You can move them around with motion a lot, and uh, you can kind of create these like bubble screens and wide receiver screens. And you can expect them to create those first down opportunities for your uh, for your offense and move the chain. So they're very similar in that area. And uh, it's very it's reminding me a lot of what we did that film breakdown last year. So we're going to keep moving on and we're going to keep talking about ISM and what he can do with the ball in his hands. Hey guys, moving on to this next play against the Atlanta Falcons. Take a look at the top of your screen where ISM is lined up at wide out, man. I really like this play. I actually got to watch this game in person. If you haven't seen that vlog, definitely check it out. It was my last game that I attended for this season. I had a blast out there, man. Uh, me and my brother was out there acting a the fool. But take a look at this play. We're going to let it run first. We're going to let it run again. Keep your eye on ISM right here. We're going to let it run, and obviously we're going to slow it down. Bryce Young with the play fake. ISM coming on this bubble route right here out of the backfield. ISM lower his shoulder, getting another first down. Again, showing you that he's effective with the ball in his hands. All right, so let's go ahead and draw it up right here, man. Let's take a look at DJ Chark. DJ Chark is clearing this thing out, coming across the screen. Adam Thielen is pretty much doing the same thing, coming across the screen, clearing this thing out. But what does ISM do? ISM is pretty much faking like he's coming across, coming right here on like a wheel route sort of thing. But he comes right here and he slams on the brakes. Come right back out for a bubble screen to get him out in space. Take a look at how this play is run in real time. And we're going to kind of slow it down and watch it as it develops. All right, so Bryce Young with the play fake. Take a look at ISM. He's selling this thing really well. Take a look at the defense. Take a look at the defense. Look at the hips of the defense. So everybody is literally committing towards their right side. So this makes it easy for ISM to pretty much get to the, uh, the first down market right here. Because everybody is already committed to their right side where... Whereas the ball is going to their left. So take a look at it. ISM slams on those brakes. Again, that change of direction is really elite right here. So take a look at it. Boom. Slam on the brake. Come back. Bryson gets it out to him in space. He gets the first down. This is a simple design. Very easy. And I mean, obviously very effective. He got the first down. So take a look at it one more time. ISM with the ball in his hands. Makes the linebacker miss. And lowers his shoulder. Make sure he got the first down. He's going to tell you about it as well, right, man. Guys, let's take a look at one of my favorite plays by ISM this year when he brought it into the end zone against the Green Bay Packers. Simple design. I mean, it's a simple handoff to ISM, but it's a lot of trickery in the backfield, a lot of misdirection, and a lot of uh, eye play pause in the backfield with this play right here. So let's take a look at it. We're going to let it run per usual, and we're going to slow it down and talk about it. So ISM at the top of your screen. Jonathan Mingo in motion. A lot of stuff going on in the backfield. Great handoff. 
or a flick by Bryce Young. Gets in the end zone, lower his shoulder, making guys look silly. All right, so let's slow it down right here. Mingo in motion. Bryce Young fakes this handoff to Shuba. Everything looks like it's going to the left. Look at the defense, committed. Then you got ISM. Bryce Young does a slick flick right here, a slick little flick of the, uh, of the wrist with this ball. Take a look at Ian Thomas. Take a look at how he picks up this blitz right here. Ian Thomas comes out, catch that blitz, helps out Taylor Moten, occupy that block. Again, you got a lot of misdirection in this backfield. So you got a hand, a fake handoff right here. You got Mingo that, come, uh, that came behind this motion right here. And then you got ISM who's also in the backfield. So you got three different guys in the backfield that could potentially get the ball. Everybody's committed to the right side of the field where they're trying to figure out, I mean, who's getting the ball. Then you got ISM who's sneaking his way around to the right side. Take a look at the steps that he take. He's throwing off the angle of the defense as he's running, taking that outside leverage, and then he cuts back inside as he sees this block right here in front of him. Great job by Adam Thielen too. This block right here, great job by Adam Thielen. Taking advantage of this leverage game right here. Cuts inside, breaks the tackle and breaks another one. Bounces into the end zone. Great job by ISM right here, man. All right, guys, let's move on to this play. Let's actually see how he runs routes. So, yes, we know that he can, you know what I'm saying, receive simple handoffs. We can get him simple screens and stuff like that. But how do you do when you're running beyond the line of scrimmage, when you got a guy in front of you, you got man coverage, can you run an effective route? So can you create separation? We're going to take a look at just that right here on this play. You take a look at your screen and look at where ISM is lined up in the slot right here. He has strong, strong hands on this play. And he also has an underrated ability with his strength to break tackles as well. So take a look at it. We're going to let it run and then we're going to slow it down, right? Bryce Young in an empty set. Take a look at ISM. Breaking off that route inside. Simple slant route against Jair Alexander, one of the most top Premier corners in the league, arguably the best corner in the league. ISM strong handing this guy and literally taking him with him beyond the uh, first down marker. So it takes three guys to pretty much bring ISM down on this play. ISM, again, his underrated ability to break off of tackles and to push a pile by himself. So take a look at it again. Bryce Young gets some beautiful delivery, strong hands. Making Jair Alexander look like a little boy looking silly on this play. He got the first down and more on this play. So take a look at it one more time. Take a look at the top of his route. One, two, using the outside leverage against Jair Alexander to pull him back inside. So right here, he's open. Great job by ISM, man. Great job by ISM to kind of manipulate Jair Alexander to turn his hips outside. Right here, he got him. He made Jair turn his hips outside so that he can get inside leverage. All right, take a look at it one more time from this angle. Bryce Young in an empty set. Beautiful delivery by Bryce Young. Again, bullying, man. Bullying Jair Alexander, taking him with him to the first down and more. Great job by ISM. Let's All move right, on guys, to the next play. Take a look play. at this next play against the New Orleans Saints here in New Orleans. Take a look at the top of your screen where ISM is lined up at wide out. Literally the same exact play that we saw um, in Green Bay where he scored that touchdown. Um, you're going to pretty much have a lot of misdirection in this backfield. So you're going to fake this handoff. You're going to pitch it to ISM where he's coming from that backfield. And then uh, obviously create an opportunity in space, right? So let's let it run before we talk about it. So that you guys can kind of get a visual of what's going on. Bryce Young under center. Pitches it to ISM. This play should be blown up in the backfield, by the way. This play was horribly blocked, man. So ISM should be tackled in the backfield for a huge loss. But... ISM, once again, showing you what he can do with the ball in his hands and in space. All right, so let's slow this thing down. So if you take a look at ISM right here, he kind of got away with a false start. Take a look at it. He moves before the ball moves. You see that little twitch right there? That little twitch. The ball hasn't moved right here. He got away with it, but hey, it is what it is. All right, so let's slow this thing down. All right, Bryce Young fakes this thing to Shuba, going right. And obviously, we're going to pitch it back to the left side, kind of manipulating the defense. But the defense was not fooled on this play. Take a look at how this protection breaks down so easily, man. Look at the blocks on this play to the left side, especially. I mean, just horrible blocking, man. Horrible blocking. But ISM, very athletic, can do it by himself. Let's take a look at what ISM does right here. Splits these defenders right here. Take a look at this move that he does right here. Hold on. A very sudden shift 
in direction and throw off the entire angle or tackling angle of the defense, man. So take a look at it slowly. He splits these defenders right here and then plants his foot in the ground. Look at how low he gets. Look at how low he gets. Boom. Plants that foot in the ground, changes the direction to the right. Lowers his shoulder once again against Tyron Matthew and gets a first down. And once again, he has that personality where he's going to let you know that he got the first. So take a look at it from another angle. ISM coming out of the backfield right here. He should be stopped in the backfield, y'all. He should be stopped. But ISM puts his foot in the dirt. Boom. Excuse me. I got somewhere to be. Lowers his shoulder. Got a first down. Let's move on to the next play, man. All right, guys. Let's take a look at another play where he's actually running a route. Um, this play right here specifically is very bittersweet. So take a look at ISM lined up in the slot right here. Now, right here, he does a poor job of fighting off of this press right here, but he does get off of it effectively. He runs this route well. Bryce Young gets the ball out to him effectively. So, all right, so let's slow this thing down right here. Take a look at ISM against this one-on-one -on -one coverage. ISM slams on the brakes, tries to get that outside leverage, trying to cut it outside. Trying to bring him with him. But look at the hands of this defender, man. He got him jammed up right here. But it doesn't matter because he's pretty much running the comeback. But I would like to see him be a little bit more physical right here. Fighting off those hands. But it doesn't matter. He works He works through it. This corner is already committed to backpedaling. And pretty much defending anything deep. Come back. Boom. Get the first down. Great anticipation from Bryce Young. Great throw. Great catch. Moving the chains once again. Take a look at it one more time. All right, ISM, breaking off to the outside, slams on the brakes, come back. Great catch, good job. But again, I would like to see you be a little bit more physical at the top of your route, when, especially when you got a handsy corner right here. You got to break him off, man. He does a good job at the end right here. Look at the push. Look at the push right here, gets off of him, boom. Easy first down. Let's move on to the next play. All right, guys, let's take a look at the Chicago Week 10 matchup. Primetime, Thursday night. My favorite play by ISM all season. This play had me lit, man. I'm talking about I was on my feet yelling. I'm talking about spilling water and all that stuff, man. But take a look at this play on the screen, man. This is just a simple punt return. I mean, nothing extravagant, a punt return, man. Just showing you what he can do with the ball in his hands. Take a look at it. We're going to let it run. And we're going to talk about it. Making one guy miss. Splits right through these defenders. Look at the speed, the breakaway speed. He got one guy to beat. That's easy money. That's easy money. Get off of me. I'm going to the touchdown. I got somewhere to be. Great job by ISM. Again, this thing got me on my feet, man. So take a look at it from another angle. This is just this just goes to further show you just what ISM can do with the ball in his hands. He can make guys miss. We're seeing this a lot on the film. He can make guys miss. Watch how he throws off this angle. And then take a look at it again. Let's slow, let's slow this thing down. Right here, it looks like he's he's about to flip this field all the way to the left side of uh, or his left side. Look at the defense. Look at the defense. Everybody committed. Once again, slamming on those brakes. I mean, his ability to put his foot in the dirt and switch directions is impressive, man. Makes this 48 guy miss. Look at 48. 48 looks silly as hell. He tried to break down and make a tackle, but that shit just did not work out for 48, man. Take a look at it again. Wiggle. Wiggle making another guy miss. Splits right between these defenders. This punter thought he had a chance. Puts a little move on him. Hold on, let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at it. Boom. Puts a little move on him. Gives him a little stiffy. All the way to the end zone. Touchdown, ISM. All right, there you have it, man. In conclusion, ISM is going to be a Carolina Panther for another year. ISM, give him the ball. Let him work. Let him cook. I think he's going to be just fine this season, especially with Dave Canales' offensive scheme. I think he's going to be utilized a lot too, man. Um, especially if you're going to use this guy as like your speed guy. A lot of motion. Him and Deontay Johnson will probably go back and forth with like a lot of motion packages and stuff like that. But in conclusion, I do think ISM is going to have a major leap year. I'm not going to say he's going to break off for a thousand receiving yards, but I do think he could be very productive with this offense, providing anywhere between maybe 400 to 500 receiving yards and definitely a couple of rushing yards here and there. Maybe a couple of rushing touchdowns. Obviously, he's showing you what he can do with the ball in his hand, so I wouldn't be surprised if we hand the ball off to him more than often. But overall, man, I'm very excited about ISM. This is a guy I'm going to have my eyes closely on because I do believe in ISM. I was very excited about that trade that we made last season. And uh, just going back and watching you know, his film and his highlight tape, 
to see what he could do. It made me excited for him to be a Panther. It was a bummer that we wasn't really using him all the way until the end of the season uh, besides special teams. I wanted to see him being used more in the offense, but we didn't really get to see that until towards the end of the season. Obviously, at that point, you got to pretty much learn a whole new playbook. So let's see what he can do with a full offseason on his belt. I'm excited about training camp to see just how they're going to utilize him. I hope they use him a little bit more in the backfield as well. Uh, in the slide and stuff like that. Just move this guy around a lot, make it hard for defenders to identify where he is and to, you know, say pretty much predict where the player is going to go. So ISM, in conclusion, is going to be a pivotal piece to Bryce Young's development and to this offense. So that concludes our film breakdown, man. Y'all let me know in the comments, what do you think of ISM? How do you think his production was last year? And what do you think his production is going to be this season? As always, man, I appreciate you guys pulling up to the channel. Stay true to yourself. Keep being you. Follow those dreams, send those dreams into goals. And go get it, fam. Love you guys.